it feels as if we're moving backwards. The question is, what are we going to do? Do we realize that it is we the people who can make changes, represent history in the right way, ensure that hatred and hostility is not espoused all over our nation? As you know, my mother and father dedicated their lives to embracing love and lifting up the goodness in people. In fact, if somebody was 90% bad, Dad would focus on the 10% good and work to extract that from them. And so, Andrea shared a lot, Yolanda shared a lot. I don't have to say that much this time. There will be other times. But we need us all to be engaged. Dad would probably say, now is the time. We must preserve, protect, and expand democracy. We must ensure that voting rights is protected for all people. We must ensure that our women and children are treated fairly. We must end gun violence. Yes. Then, maybe one day we will be a great nation. We are not certifying greatness right now. You know what? Dad and Mom taught us it takes a few good women and men to bring about change. So as I get ready to close, you may ask the question, well, Brother King, we understand what happened with history. We don't like it or accept it. We understand what happened with voting rights. We don't like it, but we must change it. But you may be asking that question that my father asked back in the late 50s. How long will it be? Well, I don't know exactly how long it'll be. But what I do know is no lie can last forever. How long, you may ask, will it be before we get our freedom? I don't know, but truth plus the earth will rise again. How long? Not long. Because the moral arc of the universe is long, but bends toward justice. How long? Not long. Because God Almighty is still on the throne. Let's not give up. Let's not give in. Let's not give out. We must move forward to make this nation the nation that it ought to be for all of God's children. Thank you and God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, Please stand to your feet and let's welcome the president and founder of the National Action Network, the Reverend Dr. Al Sharpton. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. We're not going to take long because we have to move out for the march. Let me say this, all of you under the trees, come on out, because we're going to line up. <laughs> Today was a day to show our strength. Thousands of you come 60 years later to say that we are the continuation of a movement. 60 years later, we are facing affirmative action being suspended. And there are people that are trying to go after businesses. You heard from the Fearless Fund. They're going after diversity in, in large corporations. They're going after firms. I want to announce today that we're going to fight back. We are not going to let you take affirmative action and diversity firms. I'm like a doctor. I'll make house calls. We will march on the homes and the companies that if you think you can take money out of our community and cut us off, we're not going to allow that. We will have a fall of economic sanctions against those that bow to this. Secondly, we're building a unity here. When we see blacks and Jews and Latinos and Asians come together, they're trying to separate us. When Martin Luther King III and Andrea Waters King has orchestrated, along with us in Nash Action Network, is a unity that we are not going to take this 
We're going to march and show thousands of us in these streets going together. They will not be able to turn back the clock. They want to stop blacks from voting. We're going to vote anyhow. No matter how hard you make it, we come in anyhow. They're going to try to put women back in the kitchen with an apron. We're not going back in the kitchen. We're not putting the apron back on. They tried to tell gays, get back in the closet. We're not going back in the closet. We're going to lock the closet. We're going to stand up for who we are and where we are and what we are. Our fathers fought for this, and we're going to maintain it. 60 years ago, Martin Luther King talked about a dream. 60 years later, we're the dreamers. The problem is we're facing the schemers. It's the streamers on one side, the schemers on the other. The dreamers are fighting for voting rights. The schemers are changing voter regulations in states. The dreamers are standing up for women's right to choose. The schemers are arguing whether they're going to make you stop at six weeks or 15 weeks. The dreamers are saying that if you're LGBTQ or trans, you have a right to your life. The schemers are saying we're going to make you look like you're something that should not be tolerated in human society. It's the dreamers against the schemers. The dreamers are in Washington, D.C. The schemers are being booked in Atlanta, Georgia, in the Fulton County. <laughs> the dreamers will win. The dreamers will march. The dreamers will stand up. Black, white, Jewish, LGBTQ. We are the dreamers. We're the children of the dream. Let us march in the name of the dreamers. Let's stand up together, arm in arm. That's why Jonathan Greenblatt's here. That's why McGuire's here. That's why our civil rights leaders are here. It's time to march. Everybody line up, and we're going to march from Lincoln's Memorial to the King Memorial. The dreamers facing the steamers.